Hello everybody. Today we're going to be testing out the DJI Action 2 camera for freestyle FPV. Now this is a camera that a lot of people have already been using for a while, but it's a beautiful fall day and I just got this for an insane deal. I got it for $190 with the rear screen module. So I have two touch screens, um, not just the power module for the cheaper version of this. And it only cost me 20 more dollars than I sold my GoPro Session 5 for. So before these used to cost like brand new, it was like 400 or $500. Then the Osmo Action 3 came out and these little squares got a lot cheaper. So once they got cheaper, it changed my mind on them. Before I thought it wasn't worth paying $400 for this camera. But now let's see if in the used market, is it worth 200? Um, I'm going to test it out. We're going to do this one at 4K60 because that's something that the Session Hero 5 couldn't do. So I want to see how this looks and also just the wider field of view and what's going on. Um, so we're going to do this first flight here with no stabilization at 4K60. Uh, I have no ND filters, so auto exposure is going to be ripping and the shutter speed isn't going to be perfect for motion blur but i haven't got a mount with nd filter um with nd filter slots yet so anyway let's get to the flight so unfortunately i forgot my chest mount for the stick cam but um we'll just record this voice memo while i fly so we can get some live impressions on what it's like let's uh let's get it going So I actually haven't flown this drone in a couple weeks now. It's been uh, probably about two or three weeks. And the reason why is I actually just moved um, to Chicago and it's a lot harder to find easy freestyle spots with a five inch, especially when you're in the city, very high population density. So coming out here to the suburbs, I have a lot more opportunities to like fly this thing in open areas like this field in the forest preserve so can't do this as much as i used to which kind of sucks makes it a little tougher to make the youtube videos too but um wow this thing flies really good so for reference what i was flying on this drone before was the hero session five don't mind that the drones just messed up what I was flying before was that Session 5, right? And that's a great camera, um, considering, like, how cheap it was before, because you wouldn't be able to buy one of these, um, Action 2 cameras for any less than, like, 300 bucks. However, now the Osmo Action 3 came out, prices on these dropped a little bit, DJI's been doing some sales from new, and people, I think, are just starting to get rid of these. And I believe this camera is actually lighter than the Session 5, and it provides better uh, camera quality because it's newer. So you get um, just newer tech, higher frame rates, and I think a wider field of view. So that's really the main two reasons I wanted to try this was the wider field of view and the um, 4K60. Um, let's see. I'm just kind of flying around these trees. I haven't really been here in a really long time i normally don't fly on this side either it's just there are people using the opposite side of the preserve that i normally like to fly on so just kind of like messing around here i know in the last clip i actually said that i wouldn't lock the shutter but I found that since I'm at 60 frames per second, I could lock the shutter at 1 to 40th. And I think that it might be a little overexposed, but I think it should turn out fine. And if not, if it looks like garbage, I probably won't even use this footage. Ooh, don't want to lose the quad in that tree. Yeah, so you can definitely tell that this thing flies a lot lighter than uh, with a full-size GoPro. I don't know how much of a difference I'm noticing from the Session 5 to this. I think this is lighter. I'll put up the weights right now if I didn't already. So you get an idea of the, what the weight difference is like. But generally speaking, um, the flight characteristics are pretty similar to that of a Hero Session 5. 
but ideally the quality and higher frame rate should make it worth the upgrade. So now that I did that, let's, um, let's turn on the Rocksteady stabilization and see what that looks like. Okay, so I just turned on the Rocksteady stabilization. All the other settings are the same. Uh, it's uh, 4K 60 frames per second and 1 over 240 shutter speed. Let's see how this footage looks. <sighs> Oopsie. <laughs> I'm actually gonna check if that altered the camera angle because I didn't really tighten the camera down that much. That was a oopsie indeed. Camera angle didn't change, that's a good thing. Let's keep going. Do some low ground flight to see how it deals with that motion blur. The thing about the action too is that I don't think it's gonna be good enough to really use for any sort of professional work, any sort of gigs, even for like, you know, I'm not shooting movies or anything, but even if like a YouTuber wanted to work with me and get some FPV shots in their video, I'm not sure if the action two would cut it for most people. So this kind of is only like a toy which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I feel like most people who do FPV are hobbyists anyway, uh, me included. But, you know, looking forward to eventually shooting some paid work um, with the Part 107. And uh, you gotta kind of start thinking about what money makes sense to spend. Oh man, this is... This thing does feel pretty agile. Honestly, maybe it does make a difference. Oh, whoa, that was my fault, obviously. I'm just tweaking out. All right, let's go a little slow and see if I can kind of make my way through the cracks here. I uh, can't really see exactly how many scraggly bits there are. Perfect. Yeah, so now we'll get an idea of what the Action 2 looks like when you're up close and personal to these small trees and how, how sharp they look and what the contrast is like. I should also note, I'm shooting this in the regular color profile. There's a D Cine-like color profile that DJI offers, but I decided not to use it for now because I don't want to have to like color grade this simple footage. Nice. Okay. That. Nice little desync because this uh, quad is a literal piece of shit. Almost hit that branch. Nice. Things are things are looking good here. Let's check out this tree. Let's see what we got inside here. I'm definitely having some trouble seeing all the small branches, if I'm being honest. I think I need to change my like, goggle settings because, or the camera settings. I think it's a little overexposed in my goggles. That was pretty cool. All right, let's bring it in and take a look at how that footage looked. Flies great though. I really do like this camera for freestyle. It feels, feels properly light. Okay guys, so here's an update after those two flights. I um, flew a third flight and the camera actually died during the third flight. So I got three flights of battery out of the top unit here and now it's connected and you see it's charging pretty fast. Uh, it was at about 4% maybe a minute or two ago. So it's at 15 now on the front touchscreen here. 
but um three flights <laughs> at 4k 60 it kills the battery really quickly maybe this one's just it was used so maybe the battery has deteriorated a lot uh i don't know if a brand new one would last any less or more but three flights at 4k 60 is kind of nothing um there's like no chance you could use this in a gig environment or professional environment unless you're literally filming like one take and you know that it's going to be one take um because those were like three to five minute flights i think and if you only are able to shoot like 15 minutes worth of 4k 60 footage i don't know how <laughs> i don't know how i feel about that so anyway um the camera i think is a great size it's a great weight it slips into this um 3d mount that the previous owner gave me really well um and if you want to shoot vertical for like instagram and tiktok all you got to do is put it in like this obviously without the bottom part but put it in sideways so uh that's what i was filming on the third flight we'll see if that footage even saved i'll put a title right here if it's saved um and yeah hopefully you guys like this video and i'll see you in the next one